Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. Today we are doing an install for Signal Acoustics. We are installing some of their clouds in this client's ceiling. Here's a little sneak peek of how it all turned out. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we install these clouds into the ceiling. So here is the client's space that we are starting with. This is a really cool audio studio in downtown Toronto and they are renovating it. So they did a nice fresh coat of paint and we are installing the ceiling acoustics and then they will be installing all of the wall panels as well that are also supplied by Signal. This is part of their room essentials package and you can see they give you part of this kit in the deliverables, which is like the full plans for your entire install with all instructions and positioning of everything. So it makes my job as an installer so much easier. And if you were to order from them and install yourself, that's exactly how it would be for you as well. So first thing we're going to do is get the very front wall all marked out. I'm going to find my center point of the room and I'm going to get all of my markings so I can map out my laser. So that way I know exactly where I need to be mounting hardware. So. I got my center point here, now I'm just measuring for my hardware. The gap between all of these clouds in the room, there's six clouds going up in total. The gap in between the two is going to be four inches. So I need to just mark out where my actual hardware is going to go to ensure that I'm going to have a nice four inch consistent gap all throughout the whole length of the room between all of the clouds. And part of the room essentials package from Signal Acoustics is that they ship all of the panels on site. There was the truck pulling up with all of the panels. Here are the anchors that we use, uh, and you can see the eyelet screws and the locking kind of carabiner there. That's the hardware along with the chain that we'll be using to actually suspend these clouds from the ceiling. So to mount this hardware, I am marking out and drilling with my drill, a uh, nice hole that the, that the anchors can screw into. And uh, then I can screw that eye hook right into those metal anchors. And I'm just using a drill bit there to, uh, to help me get some leverage to screw these in. And once those are screwed in, I can put that locking uh, little uh, carabiner on there. And here is the first row of hardware put up. You can see I put my laser across the bottom of that bulkhead as well. So that way I'm just ensuring that all of the next row of hardware is totally straight and these panels line up perfectly once they mount on the hardware. So just drilling my hole, screwing the anchor in, and then installing the eyelet and the locking carabiner. And once all of these are in, then that is the hardware necessary for these front two clouds. And these clouds have the diffusion scatter plates on them as well. It turned out really, really cool. You'll see these in a second. It is, uh, they did a, like a pale kind of green color with the natural birch on top. Very, very cool look. Uh, so I'm just shooting my laser down the center of the room here because uh, now we're going to be able to do the middle row of clouds and then the last row of clouds. So it's critical that I have this laser set up um, right where it needs to be so that all of the clouds line up nicely with each other. You can see I'm using my laser to shine. I mapped it on the floor with a piece of masking tape and I can use that um, feature on the laser that shoots a dot down and up so I know exactly where my reference point is going to be on the ceiling. So I use that to get all of my hardware markings for this middle row of clouds. Now this middle row of clouds is going to be angled down towards that steep portion of the bulkhead. So this hardware is actually gonna be a little bit narrower on the panel and on the ceiling than it was for those first two clouds. So I'm just going ahead and marking everything out. Of course, using the laser, making sure that everything is nice and straight and lined up exactly where it needs to be. And I can use the laser to cross-reference cross with all of the other pieces of hardware as well to make sure everything's in a nice straight line. You can see I'm doing that right now. I line up the first two pieces of hardware on those front clouds, and I can use my laser to map out for the following sections of hardware. So just getting all of those anchors into the ceiling and drilling my pilot hole so that way when those anchors screw in, I know that they're exactly where I drilled that pilot hole. And here is the chain for the longer sections that uh, these clouds need to be suspended. So I'm just using the bolt cutters, getting the chain cut to size, and I'm counting the links to make sure that they're consistent um, between all of the mounting points. So you can see I can just put that chain into the locking carabiner. I can thread it down to make sure that it's locked in place and it's not gonna fall off ever. 
And then I can place another one of those locking carabiners, which will lock into uh, the eyelet that gets screwed into the actual cloud panel itself. So I'm just going ahead getting all of these longer chain sections put on. And then on the back pieces of hardware, uh, these chain sections are shorter. It was only three links to get um, the desired height from the ceiling. Now that the middle hardware is up, I can use these French cleats to mount the base traps on the rear wall. And I had to mount these base traps first because this is gonna determine where our last row of clouds is going to mount because we had to clear the fire detector and we had to angle these clouds to clear the angle of the base traps as well. So I had to get these French cleats installed and these base traps put up so that I can get all my final reference measurements for that last row of clouds. So you can see I'm just installing that French cleat into the rear side of the frame of the base trap, just screws in with wood screws. And the opposite side of the cleat is just installed in the opposite direction on the wall. And it literally just slides right in. You can see how easy they go up like that. And, um, and then that's it for installing these base traps. They just slide in. I make sure my gaps are equal on both sides and that everything's nice and level. And that is the installation of those two base traps. So now that those are up, you can see that little fire detector there. That's what we need to be clearing with this last row of base traps or with, uh, with clouds rather. So you can see I'm measuring out where I need to be to clear that fire alarm and going ahead, marking out all of my next pieces of hardware. Now the two clouds on the left side of the room, since that wall angles in, were made at custom sizes to be a little bit smaller to clear the angle of the wall. And in this case to clear uh, that little mini split uh, AC that they have, that little unit there. So I'm just making sure that wherever I have the hardware in a different location, that that hardware corresponds to the rear side of the panel. Uh, so we just screw that eyelet into the back of the cloud, uh, wherever it needs to be. And then now the clouds are ready to hang. There you can see the scatter plates on uh, the diffuser plates on the front face of those clouds. Looks so good. And um, the whole color combo with the natural birch uh, and the pale green fabric is really cool look. Uh, the clients were so happy with how these turned out. And uh, there's the first one put up right there. So that threading carabiner just goes into the eyelets on the cloud and you just thread them down to lock them in and that's how you install them. So that's the first two clouds up. And those are the trickiest ones since there's no chain and there's no play in those locking carabiners. So it's just, just kind of takes some finesse to get everything to line up properly and um, screw them in. But I have Christian helping me for the actual suspension of these clouds. So having two people is key, uh, makes it a lot easier to get these clouds up. So now the second row of clouds is going up and going into the chain and into the second smaller chain and just making sure that we're threading those down. And for this last row of clouds, I left the chain longer so that way we could see how much further up we can angle the clouds uh, to clear that base trap. And once those are installed, the very last finishing touch is these little chain covers. These are just little plastic, uh, they cut to size, little plastic rods um, that just wrap around the hardware there just to, just to get rid of um, that like industrial look. It's just a cleaner uh, professional look once everything's all put in place there. And there you can see the final product. Here's a whole bunch of just glamour shots of the studio. The clients are gonna be installing the wall panels themselves. And that is the conclusion of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please check out Signal Acoustics. They are the people who manufacture these clouds, who provide the whole room essentials service. They take every single step necessary to determine what needs to be put into your room, where it needs to get mounted, full instructions, full 3D renderings of your whole room. Please check them out, Signal Acoustics. Please check out myself at soundheadquarters.com. And thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more content. Like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. I really appreciate everyone watching the channel. And we got a lot of really cool projects in store this year. Can't wait to show them to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, peace out.